With the rumors for a new Fire Emblem game starting to swell around Nintendo's E3 this year, I figured now would be the best time to look at the franchise along with discussing those rumors. There's so many things Nintendo could do to improve the franchise, and I'll be going over everything they could do from releasing straight ports to completely new games. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to make it to 100 subscribers by the end of June, so every sub really helps out the channel. Also, thank you so much to everyone who has subbed so far, you guys are amazing. With that said, let's get into it. Looking back at previous Fire Emblem releases, they have consistently put out a game every 2-3 to three years, and it seems to alternate between brand new games and remakes. Since Fire Emblem Three Houses came out two years ago, it's very likely a new game will come out within the next year. And with the franchise being more popular than ever, I don't see why Nintendo wouldn't want to capitalize on its popularity and continue to build momentum. Now the current rumor mill comes from leaker Zippo, who has been correct on previous leaks. That being said, as always, take rumors with a grain of salt. Just from what I said, using logical deduction, it's basically guaranteed a new game will come out soon, so anyone could look at the same information I did and come to the same conclusion. Say it's a leak and look like they have inside info. But he or she does have a proven track record, so it does seem likely that there's some credence to this rumor. The information is fairly vague, but it states that a separate team at Intelligent Systems has been working on a new Fire Emblem game independently from the Three Houses team and that they will announce it next month and might even release it later this year. If they've been working separately from the Three Houses team, that means it's been in development for at least three years, if not longer, which does seem like a fairly standard time for game development. Who knows, maybe it was initially intended to be released this summer, but the pandemic could have pushed it back. The only part of the rumor that seems odd to me is it potentially releasing later this year. While the Fire Emblem series has become more popular, it's not one of the heavy hitters for Nintendo. This means if they were to announce it next month, it would come out around October or November, which seems extremely unlikely since that's when we usually see the really big holiday releases like a Mario or Zelda game, something that's going to sell tens of millions of copies. Now I personally would like to see them be more aggressive in their marketing for the series and making it the big holiday release would certainly be a good thing, but I just don't see Nintendo doing that. Unless of course something else was meant to be released this holiday but the pandemic has delayed that game, likely Breath of the Wild 2, and they just need something to fill the gap. We do know that Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes are coming out though, and those should sell extremely well, and might end up being the big holiday release themselves. I really see the next Fire Emblem game being a spring or summer release, meaning it does seem likely that we might have to wait another year for it. But again, release cycles are really messed up right now for obvious reasons, so something out of the ordinary could happen. So basically no details were given on if it's a new game or a remake, so let's go over the possibilities. A few weeks ago there was another rumor saying that they were working on a Fire Emblem Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn remake, which would be incredible. However, that rumor was quickly debunked. While the leaker did correctly predict Three Houses before its release, they said that they made this post because, I quote, they hoped there would be one. Now even though this rumor was false, that doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't a remake in the works. It would be great to see the games packaged together with quality of life improvements along with graphical upgrades. Both games are getting extremely expensive, not to mention you need to own older hardware as well to play them. But having both games on the Switch would be almost too good to be true. It's a huge issue when someone, like myself, plays three houses, loves it, and wants to go back and play the rest of the franchise only to find doing so is a very difficult and expensive task. Which brings me to the next possibility, simply releasing ports of older games to the Switch. Now, if the rumor that they've been working on the upcoming game for a few years already is true, this means straight ports are fairly unlikely, but that won't stop me from dreaming about the possibility. Think of how amazing it would be to just simply play all the older games on the Switch. At the very least, they could release Awakening with all the DLC, although releasing Fire Emblem Fates Complete Edition with all DLC would make probably more sense. It's the most recent game behind Three Houses and would be easier for newer fans to get into since some of the older games can be far more unforgiving. I understand Nintendo wants to find ways to make people pay in perpetuity for older games instead of just letting them buy them to own, but jeez, it would be nice to see a pro consumer just once from them. As far as remakes go, Path of Radiance or Radiant Dawn or both does seem to be the most likely scenario. They've already remade the first three games in the series, so it's unlikely they would remake those again, although the fourth game, Genealogy of the Holy War, is a possibility. It's been released on all the virtual consoles, however it's never been officially released in the West. 
This would be great for longtime fans finally being able to play the game in English, but it still does create the awkward situation where you're releasing games in the middle of the series where I'm sure plenty of new fans would want to start from the beginning. Although Nintendo really doesn't seem to care or realize that this is an issue as we've seen them release later entries in other franchises without porting over earlier games. Since Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn are highly sought after games and both had western releases, this really does seem like the most likely scenario for a remake. Another possibility is Fire Emblem Warriors 2, one of the few game announcements that would cause me to freak out. However, if this is the case, we would have to assume the rumor that a separate Intelligent Systems team is developing the next game is false, since the first game was developed by Omega Force and Team Ninja. I actually do think at this point, even if this isn't the next Fire Emblem game, it's an inevitability at this point. The game's director has already stated that he would like to do a second game, and it does seem like Nintendo and Koei Tecmo have developed a strong working relationship. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity not only has sold over 3.7 million copies, but is now the best-selling Warriors game in history. This shows a strong demand for Warriors games, and since Hyrule Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors share a lot of mechanics, it would make a lot of sense for Nintendo to release Fire Emblem Warriors 2. Personally, I hope they stick to the formula from the last game and work on improving what they had as opposed to creating something completely new. It would need a much more varied roster of characters, and the combat could be cleaned up a bit. I honestly could make a full video on this game alone, and just might. Like I said, it's basically inevitable that Fire Emblem Warriors 2 will come out, although I do think it might still be two or three years away. So this leaves us with the last option, a completely brand new game. As much as I would like to see some of the older games remade, I personally rather they just port them as is to the Switch and develop completely new games. Now I know some of the Fire Emblem games worlds are connected, but generally speaking, they make new worlds with recurring themes from previous games. This time around, I really think they should go with a direct sequel. As amazing as Three Houses was, there's definitely room for improvement and a direct sequel would allow them to take all the amazing game mechanics and just make them better. The only issue is that there's four paths with different endings and none of them are considered canon, and making a direct sequel would require them to pick a canon ending. They could have multiple different paths, but that would be next to impossible and unless they planned this from the very beginning, I just don't see how that would be possible. Another possibility is doing a time skip, or doing something crazy like having you play as Rei a thousand years before Three Houses, which would be really badass. Although I would really love to see the characters I got to know in Three Houses grow, develop, and continue their stories. But going back to playing as Rhea, we could get to play through the war and then see her create the monastery and be able to manage its development. This would allow them to bring back the same mechanics and improve them while allowing us to see the backstory to a character from the original game. If they went with a time skip, it'd have to be pretty far into the future, far enough to where whatever happened in Three Houses is irrelevant and lost to time. As much as I love branching paths, if they did go this route, I would like to see them set up an overarching plot that could stretch out multiple games instead of having a one-off. Regardless of what Nintendo chooses to do, I can't wait. I'm replaying Three Houses now and I just want more. I did go back and play Awakening in Shadows of Valencia, and while I really enjoyed those games, it's rough going back to the 3DS when I have a Switch. But realistically, I hope we see a mix of everything, ports, remakes, spin-offs, and new games. However, this being Nintendo, it's likely we will continue to see only a drip feed of content. Be sure to let me know down in the comments, if you could pick the next Fire Emblem game to be released, what would it be? And also, do you think they'll ever release ports of older games to the Switch, or will we be waiting forever? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified as soon as I put out new videos. I'll be covering any new Fire Emblem news along with more Yakuza and Mass Effect content as well in the near future. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you on the next video.